There's a number of, of uh, unique aspects to this skull that make it different from the more familiar Triceratops. First of all, uh, the horns over the eyes here point out laterally, they point to the sides, whereas in Triceratops, and, and in fact most other horned dinosaurs, they, they point forwards. So that's a, that's a really rare aspect of this skull. And secondly, if you look at the back of the frill, you can see that it's adorned by these big spikes coming off the back. Near the midline, those spikes actually curl forwards. And then as you, as you move to the side, those spikes radiate outwards. So that's something we don't see anywhere else uh, among horned dinosaurs. And that's what lets us know that this is a new species to science. Bill Shipp, the man who found this fossil, nicknamed it Judith early on because it comes from a rock unit in Montana named the Judith River Formation. Um, so we tend to refer to it as a she because of the name, but having said that, we don't actually know whether Judith, this individual, was male or female. You can see that there's actually a big hole in the left side of the skull. That hole, we think, might have been uh, gored out by, by uh, another individual of this species. Um, and subsequently, we can see that it became infected as well. Uh, we also have the humerus, or the upper arm bone, of, of, of this animal. It's also riddled by arthritis up near the shoulder and down near the elbow we can see more evidence for bone infection. There's a big, there's a big opening that's opened up near the elbow to drain off that infection. And despite that fact, we know that it grew to adult size. So we think this was a very resilient animal to be able to live with such an affliction. Thank you.